What is up guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be a more important video I've ever made. It's about talking about the importance of posture, the truth about chiropractors and our education system. So uh, when I was younger growing up, I was really into um, fitness. Not I wasn't super into like bodybuilding, but I was very into um, having a strong core, strong chest. Uh, pecs and biceps and you know, just the typical things that guys want uh, for to look strong and to be strong and also I was very into training martial arts and I did a lot of unorthodox training and quite frankly I'm sure it's some of that stuff probably messed up my posture but I only started realizing a few years ago how important um, our posture is and um, I want to say that I, I was getting pretty bad pain like in my shoulder and um, I eventually started figuring out that my back was weak and that I didn't train part of my back and and also that the when we were younger they did not tell us how important posture is and they actually lied about one of the importance of one of the important muscles in our body so um, how many of you guys have ever heard um, to never pick up uh, some if you drop something you can't pick it up like leaning straight down and like having your knees locked and just leaning straight down and picking it up, you have to crouch. Well, I want to tell you that that's a freaking lie. That's a massive lie. And that I want to say that that muscle in our lower back is super important. And um, I just feel like we've been lied to about how important that muscle is for training and for just our general in general. And, and the importance of our posture is that if our spine is twisted, um, when we get older and we are developing, this could lead to major problems. And I was almost having, um, I, I didn't have scoliosis, but I have like, a, I had a curve in my back and I have since rectified it. And since then, all my issues have faded. But I want to say that posture is so important to the, the human mind because if you think about it, the neural connections to our brain are transmitted through our spine and, to, and our body receives uh, these commands from our mind, right? From our from our brain and the electrical signals travel down our spine and what's the fastest route through the park around the park or through the park through the park right so obviously if you have a straight spine those connections are those uh signals are going to reach our body are the points of our body faster and i'll just tell you the list of problems that you could have if you are um having bad posture um it could be like you're having headaches um that you could be feeling um, in bad mood, you could have depression, you could have high anxiety, you could have uh, fits of rage, um, you could be um, have a lack of sensation. Um, for men, you could lose your potency um, and as well as other a lot of other things. And our body is connected. When I started finding out that my my how I started finding out was I found out that my my shoulder was starting to hurt. I was lifting something and you know, throwing some heavy stuff outside, and I found a really big bad pain in my neck and my shoulder. And you know, I, I was exercise rigorously, rigorously, but I could never find that I was gaining the mass I wanted. And you know, I did a lot of exercise when I was younger. And I still maintain this very lean, strong, but very lean figure. And you know, people would tell me I'm, I was, would say I was skinny, right? And I was kind of, uh, I, it, I didn't let it bother me, but over the time I was getting annoyed thinking like, what, how about you? How about your body? Is your body perfect? But it's super important that we fix these because when we're growing up as in school, they always tell us not to use that bot, that muscle to, to crouch and pick up. But if you think about it, I want you guys right now, here's a test. I want you to stand up and put your hands on your, on your hips. Okay, I'm going to say that 90% of you guys right now probably put your hands on your waist. Now, if we look at this diagram here, we can see where our hips are and where our, our waist is. Now, our hips are like the, the focal point where we bend. That's the hip. That's like a hinge on a door. So when we bend, we're supposed to bend there. When we do sit-ups, we're supposed to bend there. But we are all doing sit-ups wrong. We are doing sit-ups and bending at the waist. And I feel like when we were young kids and when we watched some cartoons or, or the teachers, they say, put your hands on your hips, everyone put their hands on the waist and no one was taught, no teachers were taught the importance of this because this will literally fuck you up when you're growing up, okay? And I can, I, I see people all the time, they have, they're walking funny, they're walking strange, they're, they're, 
their postures back, their neck is too far forward, their shoulders are not pulled back far enough, their 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 rear end is too far out, or and so on, right? And I'm telling you that a, a vast majority of the population have back issues, and if you go to the chiropractor, um, you can rectify this. But the truth is, these chiropractors that I have a suspicion that they could fix it all in one go or in a in a lot faster than they usually do. But they want you to be there for f years. They want to fix, do some small adjustments here and there, and they want you to be coming to them for for years because that's how they're gonna make their money. And let's just be realistic. All these back problems are just because of a lack of muscle use, because of a lack of of muscle atrophy, and we're not lifting things evenly. Or, and we're not bending the right spots. So if you think about it, if you're not if you're if you're not uh, hinging at the right spot in the right way, your muscles aren't developing. You're going to be doing squats wrong. You're going to be doing uh, push-ups wrong. You're going to be doing um, sit-ups wrong. You're, you, everything you do will be wrong because your body is not aligned. So we need to first align our our bones back into position. And I think it's if this general if this general information was just taught to, ch to the youth right off the bat and to our teachers right off the bat then chiropractors would probably be out of a job, okay? There probably would be less chiropractors in the world, okay? So I feel like um, there's this is a huge scam, just like the pharmaceutical industry, right? Like if you just, before you start taking a medication for all your problems, headaches, for your, for your whatever issues you have, for your pain, look into natural means because I, I really believe there's an antithesis for everything and there's a cure for everything and a lot of things have been hidden and these pharmaceutical industries are wanting you to rely on their pharmaceutical drugs or their, their treatments and even the cancer treatments. I, I believe there's alternatives. And I really think that um, this, 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 this uh, we've been lied to. We've essentially been lied to. And Bruce Lee, if you guys don't know who Bruce Lee is, he's like um, a famous martial artist. Of course you guys know who Bruce Lee is. And he knew, he realized what the truth was. And he was doing... Um, these I don't know what the heck these exercises are called, but um, these uh, he was doing these putting a barbell on his back and hinging forward and and training this muscle and apparently he got hurt he hurt his back because he was going way too much like he was pushing himself way too much and then he had to lay down he hurt his back and he it was essentially told he wouldn't be able to walk ever in his life so what he did was he laid down on the ground for a year. And he didn't move for one year. He just did everything on the ground. And then eventually he healed. He was able to come back, right? And I don't even know how much that is true. For all we know, he could have hurt himself for a week. And, you know, um, you know, history is so skewed, right? I don't, I don't trust anything I hear anymore. But the point is that this back muscle, our lower back muscle, is very important. And I recommend that everyone train it. And everyone, you know, go to a chiropractor, get an x-ray, and see if you have problems. Figure it out. Because we should be... Um, we shouldn't have this anxiety, we shouldn't have this depression, we shouldn't, and I think a lot of the things in our life, a, a lot of the things in society are, uh, instigate these, you know, depression, anxiety. It's nothing that we can just cure with a medication, right? It's something, it's a deeper issue. And if you really think about it, um, have you, who's ever heard of that saying, show some spine? You know, some guys are sitting around and one of them's a little scared of doing something, he says, show some spine and do it, Right. It means to be strong and be brave, right? And if if you think about it, if the government is 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 lying to us and making us have a weak foundation, a weak back, Mary, train your back, guys. Don't always do pushes, push-ups. You have to do pulls, pulling, because your back, you have to have a strong back to have a strong chest. The chest is for pushing. The back is for pulling. So if we have a population of weak-spined individuals, who's going to stand up to the government when they're corrupt? Okay? So... You guys uh, take care and take care of your health and take care of your back. Thanks for watching and God bless you and your family.